Hey everybody, this is a video about uh, Sail Samurai. It's from the creator of Merchant Former, Neil. And so it just came out and I just decided to check it out. And uh, there's a ton of tutorials here. It is for Etsy. If you want to do Etsy research, uh, you know, figure out what's selling, check out the competition on Etsy. And so there's a ton of tutorials, so I'm not going to go through, uh, you know. Oh, you also get a three-day free day, three, three day trial, free, free three-day trial. I can't talk. It's normal. I normally can't talk. So anyways, and so anyways, it's, this is for Etsy, Etsy research and things of that nature. And so you can go through here and uh, they have all the different... Uh, options over here searching shops competition tracker they have a chrome extension there's also an uploader so you can come over here you can go to search you can type in a uh, keyword let's type in uh, pitbull we'll just check this out I, I this is the first time I'm actually playing with this so kind of see here what happens as you can see it's up here thinking so this might take a second Let's see here. Okay, here we go. So search volume um, five five hundred fifty seven. Here competition yellow twenty three thousand. So a lot of you can look at all the different products that people are selling. Pitbull ornament, pitbull gifts, uh, pitbulls s svg, pitbull mom, and you can see the so just the word pitbull search volume this. But if you you know, if you look at all these other types of keywords, there's Pitbull shirt over here. Uh, these are the tags that people are using that you would want to use for your account. So let's go over here. Uh, here you go. Pitbull face mask, sticker, pajamas, Pitbull shirt, Pitbull mom mask, mug, dad. So as you can see. Uh, oh, check this out. Views. Um And oh, views, photos, likes. Here you go, pitbull pajamas. Those are those are hilarious. So, nineteen thousand two hundred and nine. I have a pitbull mix myself. So, uh, here you go. Here's the sewing pattern only. Um, Sixteen thousand views, nine hundred forty nine likes. Show me your pity shirt. Oh, there you go. That's uh. 4,700 views, six photos, 562 likes. So that's really cool. So right there, I don't know, uh, show me your pities. So you could come up here and let's say, show me your pities. Let's see. Um, as you can see, that's very useful. This is very popular, it appears anyways. For, and twenty seven fifty is the price. I'm sure you somebody could create a, uh, a similar design. Show me your pities ninety six search volume two hundred and nine competition three eighty one. So there you go. Um, I don't know why these keywords friends TV show, Eric Andre show. I'm not sure why, but um, okay here you go. So show me your pities. So as you can see, 6,600 views, 4,700, 3,800 uh, vinyl decal. So for 4 I mean, so look at this. So oops. So for 28, uh, 2799, 2750. I mean, you could do a shirt, a T-shirt for less than that. Uh, here's your show me your pities onesie. So yeah, you could absolutely do a shirt. Yeah, obviously you want to check the trademark too, but you could do a shirt. And sell it for less than, uh, you know, add your tags in there and actually sell it for less. So if people sorted by price, yours would show up. Uh, so that's, you know, that would be kind of an interesting idea right there. It's still 381. It's It gives you a green light. But let's see, what would be another? Um, so I am I like volleyball. I've been playing volleyball for a long time. And there's a funny shirt. It says Volley Llama. Let's check that out. 
So llama, volleyball shirt, um, search volume 34, so not very high, low competition. Um, so here you go, you have a volley llamas here, volley llama, volleyball t-shirt, 308 views, 23 likes, um, volleyball team shirt, volley llamas. The volley llama shirts uh, seem to pick up more during the summertime. People buy them for leagues and volleyball leagues and stuff like that. So, but obviously too, with the pandemic uh, going on, there's like less people are buying those type of shirts, but generally they would still sell better during the summer. So uh, what would be another, um, let's just type in Biden. I don't normally, I personally don't get into politics as far as shirts and stuff like that, but I thought it would just be interesting to see like what kind of uh, products are out there if anybody's buying this type of stuff on, uh, on Etsy. So we're just going to punch this keyword in. Yeah, it just takes, takes a minute here to load. Okay, here we go. Biden. Search volume, oh, look at that, 50,000, search volume 326. So you got Biden mug, vibing with Biden sweatshirt, Biden's. Uh, so let's come down here and see uh, embroidered designer. We just did Biden Harris sweatshirt, pink Joe, uh, 1,587 likes, 12,000 views, six photos. Uh, Biden beat Trump ornament, New York Times, Kamala Harris. So, um, ooh, well, well, here you go. <laughs> so anyways, um, so if you wanted to get into, obviously you can see there's a lot of competition, a lot of products for Biden. So, I mean, that would be, you know, if you wanted to do get into politics. Um, let's look at... Um, um, oh, let's look at hockey. And again, you could type in a longer keyword here if you wanted to. It's going to give you suggestions. So I'm just looking to see what they have for hockey. You know, you could get, you know, hockey, baseball, softball, uh, tennis, uh, pickleball. Here you go. Hockey mom hat, hockey decor. Uh, Avalanche Hockey, Capitals Hockey. So here you go, search volume 536. A lot of competition, so you'd want to go uh, something like Hockey Mom Hat. But if we come down here, uh, personalized hockey puck, very popular. Custom hockey jersey. So let's go Hockey Mom Hat. Just to check this out. So this is going to be great if you do... So let's say you're you're thinking about doing a design and you're like, oh, should I put it on a shirt? Should I put it on a hat? Should I put it on a mug? You know, what should I do? And then you can kind of get some suggestions and you can kind of look up, you know, hockey mom hat or hockey shirt. Like here you go, competition 341, search volume 398, hockey mom hat, sports mom hats, sports moms. Uh, here you go, 2,000 views. 29.95, 10 photos, 125 likes. Uh, here's another women's hockey hat, 2059 views, you know. So you can kind of see here's a beanie. You can kind of get an idea like what you want to go into. Maybe you maybe you just want all of your stuff to be, uh, I don't know, sure. Um, maybe you're only going to do a certain uh, niche or whatever. Sorry, I was trying to figure out. Let's go into motivation. So a lot of people buy like, you know, the motivational t-shirts and stuff like that. So I might have to change this to motivational. We'll see what the suggestions are. Then we're going to jump and check out some of these other on the left here. I also have a coupon code if you're interested in signing up. Uh, it's uh, Stephen Cole. And I'll have that in the link. Oh, so here you go. Motivation 293, competition 50,000. So um, here you go. Gym motivational wall decor poster. Uh, so here's different motivational quotes. How about um, let's just type in, let's just check one thing. I'm going to type in t shirt. I just want to see 
what kind of t-shirts are popular. Oh, here's a cool little price spread, you know, what prices people are selling most of the stuff at, you know. So t-shirt search volume, 25 seven competition. So, okay, here you go. Hurley, Zappa, Delco, 1973 t-shirt. Huh, believe it or not, that was the year I was born. 90 t-shirt, Funkadelic t-shirt. Um, so here's all the different tags. Let's come down here. Girls t-shirt from friends. 233,000 views, 16 1,971 likes, Ninth Friends 90s T Vintage. Let's see, can we click on it? Let's see what happens here. So, uh, huh, that's cool. I mean, me personally, I would think that you would get in trouble for having this. I don't know. Like, I try not to, um, you know, I personally try not to uh, get into things like that where I'm copying from shows and stuff like that because I don't want to lose my account. But apparently, this is okay. I'm not going to say, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but... Uh, that's pretty cool. No wonder it's so popular. Look at the, you know, it's like a friend's, uh, you know, friend's shirt. Uh, so as you can see, 233,000 views. They even use the word friends in the title. Um, here you go. Solos, 10,000. Uh, Halloween skeleton baby twins pregnancy t-shirt. <laughs> so anyways, um, let's check out this 1973 shirt. Uh, so this is you know so this tool is pretty cool I like it so far it's there's a lot of Etsy tools out there I couldn't tell you honestly I couldn't tell you you know if, which one's better or which one's not better um, I would you know I would definitely look into it okay so here we go 351 competition oh, surprisingly there is quite a bit of competition Let's come down here. Vintage Row 1973 Pro Choice. Ah, oh, 48th birthday for women. Vintage 1973. So 17, 17, 1206. Oh, okay. So this 1973, in some cases, it's the Roe versus Wade. Um, you know, that's sort of like what they're promoting on some of these shirts. And then this one's just a regular old birthday shirt. This is actually pretty cool. 1973. Uh, vintage, I like it. I like the design. Vintage, 1981. So that's cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's check out this one. Uh, 1973, looks like it's a similar font. Maybe they just changed the colors around a little bit. Probably every, wait. Seven. The font's slightly different, but it's the same concept. So, and then they just did 1973, uh, the right to choose. So, oh, cool. So that is not would not be up my alley, but um, like I said, I was born in '73. Uh, let's check out this one too, just for the heck of it. It's kind of different. It's just 1973. That's all it says on there. That's oh, kind of weird. Um, let's see related searches. Oh, here we go. Vintage 1973. Uh, vintage 1973. Um, awesome since February 1973. So also this is a good idea. Um, if you're going to do bulk, uh, like a bulk uploader, find a vintage font like this and see it says awesome since and then you could change out the two you could change out the month and the year and just create a bunch of these vintage shirts and upload them so that's really a cool idea same thing with uh some of these other ones vintage 1973 you could just as you can see a lot of these people are just doing a similar font 
you know, they're all kind of basically doing a similar font. And this audio cassette one's kind of cool too, you know. But again, they're all kind of basically grabbing the same font and then, you know, creating these vintage shirts, which obviously are selling and they're doing pretty well. So, so that's just an idea, but so let's check, let's go check out shops. Okay, so apparently you can connect your shop. I'm not going to do that right now. Competition tracker, shop name, add shop, competition shops, favorites. Obviously, you can favorite when we're in search. You can favorite these keywords. Uh, calendar. Oh, this is cool. Backwards day, day of the crepe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so don't blast me in the comments too bad. Lame duck day. Clean out your computer day, laugh and get rich day. Okay, gumdrop day. Huh. So, tortilla chip day. So anyways, this is kind of cool too. You can do a bunch of shirts based on that. And then there's also an uploader. You can upload your designs. Chrome extension. Uh, analyzing Etsy search results has never been this easy. So, real Etsy search volume. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, yeah, that's a cool, cool Chrome extension right there. Let's go back up to search. So, let's see, 19, let's just type in 1973 in general. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, I should type in mugs. I want to see what kind of mugs are popular right now. This is pretty fun. Wicker Man, Somervale Way. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Wow. Zero search volume. Com a lot of competition, though. Zero search volumes. And vintage poster born in 1973. 48th birthday. Yada, yada. Let's go. Let's type in mugs. My, speaking of dogs, my dog is bothering me right now while I'm trying to do this video. So if you hear any noises, that's that's her be an extra okay still waiting on the mug mug search here okay here we go mugs oh yeah competition da, 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 da. keyword ceramic um, MFM mug coffee mug affirmation mug huh let's come down here oh hello pumpkin campfire mug Wow 90,000 views 18,000 likes um, BFF mug, bestie mug, best friend. No, 3,094 likes, 269 likes. So let's check out this. I don't know what this is. Af affirmation mug. So obviously when you're doing designs, I recommend going for long tail. Don't go... Don't try and go for, uh, you know, sort of like these shorter, you know, shorter sayings or just for shorter keywords. My favorite murder. Huh. Okay. Search volume competition, 2483 competition, 426. So if you're looking to do a mug, uh, let's see, my favorite murder mug. I don't even, oh, it's a true, like a true crime um, true crime. So my favorite murder mug. You're in a cult. Call your dad mug. Let's just click on one of these. You're in a cult. Call your dad. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> this one is like one of the top ones here. You're in a cult. Call your dad. My favorite murder mug. Huh. That must be from something that I'm not familiar with, but it sure looks like I would definitely check trademark, but uh, my favorite murder mug. So apparently, but that's a 
search volume competition, boom, you just found something that you could probably rank for, you know, put those tags in there. You got your tags that you can throw in and, you know, promote it on social media, promote it on your social media and boom. Uh, what was the other mug? Was it OTA girl mug? I think was the other one. I don't know. We're going to, Let's click on that. So yeah, this is pretty interesting. And you can go even deeper than what I've done, you know. Oh, no, I must have screwed up. OTA. Oh, OTA. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. Sorry. Nine hundred nine search volume. Yeah, but sometimes it's even um oh Otagari is um like a Japanese, uh, Japanese mug, vintage Japanese mug. So sorry, I don't know. I'm spacing out there. I've sold those on, e I've actually sold those on eBay before. Uh, when I used to buy vintage stuff and flip it on eBay, uh, so they they had some that were really cool, like you know something like this one right here. Otagari, made in Japan. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that. So anyways, uh, ceramics, uh, oh, affirmation mug. Let's check that out. That's a good one. Sorry, this video is starting to run a little long, but uh, again, so if you guys are interested, you can sign up with my coupon code. My coupon code, it's Stephen Cole, S-T-E-B-E-N-C-O-L-E, -E, or you can also try this out for three days for free. You know, check it out. It's a... Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Competition. Quite a bit. 3,600. 1,050. So, motivational, inspiration, positive affirmation. Mugs, mugs. Right. So, free shipping. Nature lover. I see. I don't really see a whole lot of... Let's try... Like, it gets into, like, cards and stickers and stuff. So, uh, that's history. Oh, interesting. There you go. This is kind of cool. So here's your little, here's your history. They got, the, they give you the little green lights. They're still saying that it's possible to, I mean, if you, so I, so here's affirmation mug, right? And it says a thousand competition, uh, 3618. But if you come down here and they show these listings, uh, it starts getting into like, you know, some of these mugs. I am so fit, positive thinking, positive affirmation. So there's a few here that are actually have uh, positive. They actually have some affirmations on affirmations on them. Well, this one's like a tarot card almost. See here, I know I'm the master of my own destiny. So you could, you know, for an affirmation mug, use these tags, but you could do, like some of these just don't seem like they are the, they honestly don't seem like, this is kind of neat, but they don't seem like they're necessarily the best fit for, um, for the search. Maybe I'm wrong here, positive mug, healing, meditation. So, yeah, I think there is an opportunity for an affirmation mug. Uh, but I don't know if, I mean, I guess it just depends on what your what your niche or market is, what you're trying to do. I would even try to go, like, even lower competition. So, well, anyways, that is the video. There's a ton of tutorials on it. Uh, competition tracker, the Chrome extension, the calendar, the favorites, the uploader. And so if you're thinking about doing some Etsy keyword research, uh, you know, I would definitely check out Sales Samurai. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. It has a lot of features. And if you know anything about Merch Informer and if you know anything about Neil and his products, he's constantly, he doesn't just make a product and then abandon it. He's constantly improving it and making it better. So that's another thing. If you do get the product and you're like, hey, Neil, or, you know, if you give them feedback, they're they're very open to 
feedback and making their products better. So it's just something that uh, I thought I'd bring up, show you guys. Um, let me know. I'm, I think I'm going to check it out, do some keyword research, and then uh, probably uh, probably use it to work on some uploading some stuff to Etsy. So anyways, uh, that's it. If you have any questions, drop them down below and have a great day. Bye.